We begin with a South City mystery. Two people found beaten less than a mile apart. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Savard. And I'm Courtney Bryant. These incidents circle around Tower Grove Park. The latest happened near Juniata and South Grand, where police say a woman was found assaulted and left there for as long as 48 hours. Now tonight we're hearing from one man who says the same happened to him a half mile away at Grand and Shenandoah. News Force Emma Hogue is live with a story you'll see only on 4. Steve Courtney, that man says he was leaving this bar and was headed this way towards Quick Trip. During that walk, he says someone hit him on the head repeatedly. The next thing he remembers is waking up in a hospital bed. I'm lucky enough to still be alive and still be talking. But the chorus manager says he still can't hear out of his right ear. I'm a singer. Hearing is something that's never affected me before. Until the night of September 15th, Justin Hoffman says he was leaving just John in the Grove around 1030 and was headed to Quick Trip. He hardly remembers anything after that. They said I've been hit at least five times. Six hours later, he says a bar owner found him on Shenandoah and Grand Avenue, unresponsive in an alley. He believes the suspect drove him two miles from Quick Trip. Officers arrived to find him with an injury on his head. Everything I had on was on me was stolen except my clothes. Hoffman remembers waking up Sunday morning at SLU Hospital where he stayed for the next week. Doctors found cocaine in his system, which he denies ever doing. I've never had anything happen like that. I've the Grove is a place where I feel safe. Last week, officers discovered a 52 year old woman physically assaulted and left unresponsive near Juniata and South Grand, about a half mile from where Hoffman was found. It's shocking to think of all that when I felt so safe there for so many years. Tonight, Hoffman says he doesn't know if his hearing will ever be the same. Sometimes I hear nothing. Sometimes it's almost like I'm underwater. He's hoping for change before someone else is hurt. I never want anyone else to go through this. Now, I did check with police just a little bit ago. They tell me both incidents are still under investigation. So far, there are no suspects. Live from the Grove tonight, Emma Hogue, News 4.